the heart is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and the day that were therein. For you have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his souls unto vanity, who swung the sea for him. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. We worship your holy name. We adore you. Lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and celebrate him. Lift up your hand. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor. He is our Lord. He is our God. Father, we worship you. We adore you. We celebrate you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Our hope, our yesterday, our today, our tomorrow. Wherever you are, wherever you are watching me from, I want you to lift up a hand and give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Let's bless his holy name. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise for the month of January, for the month of February, for the month of March, for the month of April, for the month of May, for the month of June, for the month of July, for the month of August. Lift up your hand and celebrate God. Lift up your hand and adore him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Let's say thank you, Jesus. Today is the beginning of another month. Today is the very first day of this new month. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate God. I want you to lift up your hand and give him all the praise. I want you to lift up your hand and adore him. I want you to lift up your hand and say thank you unto him. The Lord God that preserve you. The Lord God that preserve me. The Lord God that preserve each and every one of us. Throughout the first month. Throughout the second month. Throughout the third month. Throughout the fourth month. Throughout the fifth month. Throughout the sixth month, the seventh month, the eighth month, the ninth month, and here we are in the tenth month. Why not just lift up a hand and say thank you, Jesus? Bless his holy name. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Celebrate him. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Celebrate the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Celebrate our Lord, our God. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. All adoration to your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Our Lord, our God, wants to say thank you this morning. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. Thank you, Father, for everything that concerns each and every one of us. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the adoration in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, as we come before you today, the first day of this month, the first Sunday of this month, I ask that heaven open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Today, Father, arise in your power, arise in your glory, visit each and every one of us. Do that which only you can do in our means. Do that which only you can do in our life. Let your word come with power. Let your word come with authority. Let your word come today with blessing in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today, Father, my Lord, my God, all glory, all honor, all adoration to your holy name in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome each and every one of us to today, Sunday service. Wherever you are logging from, wherever you are joining me from, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. My name is Ari Ola Oreolua. Ari Ola Oreolua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Coming live and direct from Lagos State, Nigeria. 
you are welcome to the place of prayer in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Once again, I welcome each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. For those of us who, for all our members all over the world, let me quickly pass this information. We know we always observe possessing the gates of the month, the first day, the first three days of the month, on the first, on the second, and on the third. For this month, I want to bring in personal retreat. It is good to pray together, but the ultimate is your personal prayer life, your personal prayer altar. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Your personal prayer altar, your personal prayer life is more important and is, it should be more powerful than congregational altar. Did you hear me? It is good to pray together. It is good to fellowship together. But the ultimate is your fellowship. Is that fellowship between you and God. That fellowship between you and your maker. There are some things that God will reveal in the congregation. There are some things that God will reveal when you fellowship with friends, with brethren. But hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Secret about your life. Detail about your life. Did you hear me? Detail. Detail about your life. God will not reveal it in the open space. Detail about your life. God will not reveal it in the congregation. Because in that congregation, your enemy may be there. So if God revealed the detail about your life in the congregation, where you have your enemy, the enemy will go around because they know what God is about to do. They know when he's going to do it. They know how he's going to do it. It has been revealed. So they will go behind. And what will they do? They will go behind to attack that testimony. They will go behind to reverse it. They will go behind to set in manipulation and error. So detailed secret about our life is always revealed to us in the secret place. That is why God set up what is called dream. In your dream, it's only you. No one else. Not your father. Not your mother. Not your wife. Not your husband. When God is looking for a way to talk to you and he can't find it, he will wait when you are sleeping and he will reveal it to you in your dream. It's not left for you to now go and meet your enemy and ask them to interpret them for you. Praise the Lord. People like us, we have sustained some injury in the past. Amen. When we don't know our left and right and we have dream and we are looking for who will interpret that dream for us. And the only people that, um, the only person that is available to interpret for us or known to us is our enemy. And we share our dream with our enemy. And our enemy interpret it for us. <laughs> Amen. May your enemy not interpret your dream for you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Praise it the Lord. So please, uh, please, man. Starting from tonight, tomorrow, and on the third. I have told us during the uh, Fiji what you need to do. During the Friday Fiji. Day for us yesterday, yesterday. What you need to do. Praise it the Lord. I gave us the scripture. One of the scriptures is First Chronicle 17, verse 23. First Chronicle 17, verse 23. Please, if you are members of this ministry, all our prayer team, all of whom God is using to support us financially, please, I beg you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, because I want to hear your testimony. Please make sure that you observe this. You already have what you are waiting, you already have what you are expecting from God. So please, Go before God anytime between the hours of 11.30 and 3.30. Yes, you hear me. 11.30 in the night in your country and 3.30, 3 in the midnight. So anytime between that time, you can do it between 11.30 and uh, 1.30, 12.30, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, between 3 and 3.30. But please make sure you observe that personal prayer retreat. The anchor scripture is 1 Chronicles 17, 23. 1 Chronicles 17, 23. Let me read it for us. Therefore now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant, concerning his household, be established forever, and do as thou hast said. What is that prophecy? What is that revelation that you are waiting upon the Lord, that you are believing God for? Praise the Lord. 
you write them, I have told us you must have them in a note. So you come before God and you begin to read them one after the other. You begin to take them, you begin to pray. Oh Lord my God, you are the one that has said this. Father, establish it. This that you have said concerning me, this that you have said concerning my house, this that you have said concerning my marriage, this thing you gave me so, so, so time, through so, so, so person, through, you gave me this thing, through dream, through revelation. This is what you said you will do. Oh Lord my God, this month, do as you have said. According to 1 Chronicles 17, 23, do as thou hast said in the name of Jesus. Concerning me, concerning my family, concerning my husband, concerning my children, oh Lord my God, do as thou hast said. And I know that this very month, I will hear your testimony in the name of Jesus. I will announce your testimony in the name of Jesus. I will rejoice with you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today is the very first day of this month. Um, we are all going to pray into the continued prayer for the new month. But before then, to help those who are saying, Pastor, when I'm praying alone, my challenge is this. When I'm praying alone, I can't pray long. Within five minutes, within uh, ten minutes, I don't know how to pray long. Praise the Lord. On our uh, WhatsApp channel, I told us, starting from today, whatever I need to send out will be through that WhatsApp channel. Praise the Lord. Whatever information, whatever message, whatever prayer, I'm going to send out on WhatsApp will be through WhatsApp channel. So if you have not joined us, kindly join. Everything I will be sending out now will be only on our WhatsApp channel. Praise the Lord. If you have not joined and you don't know how to join, just send a message in after this program. I will link you. For those of us on the WhatsApp channel, I already posted something there some minutes ago. You see, it's a five fingers. Five fingers. Five fingers. Five same fingers. Your own issue, your own challenge is, Pastor, I wish to pray long, but I don't know how to pray long. It is very simple. I use that method to teach people how to pray long. If you use that method, you can pray for one hour, you can pray for two hours, you can pray for three hours, you can pray, you can pray for a whole day. Five fingers system, five fingers principle. I will quickly share, talk about it, and I will tell you how you can personalize it to suit your whole need. Praise it alone. The number one is your thumb. Somebody say my thumb. Somebody say my thumb. Today is the beginning of the year, so we are going to pray to the, the beginning of the month. We are going to pray to the new month, but so that when you are going through your, doing that your retreat, how to make it effective. In the next uh, 10 minutes, I will quickly share it. But if you are on that channel, as I said, you will see the picture and detail about it. Number one, say my thumb. Do like this. Say my thumb. Number two, the pointer. What is the pointer? The second finger that used to point to things. Say the pointer. Say the pointer. Number three, the middle finger. Say the middle finger. Everybody in the house, say the middle finger. Number four, what is number four? They call it the ring finger. Am I right? That is the finger that you put ring. Say the ring finger. Say the ring finger. Then number five, they call it pinky. That means the smallest. Is it not the smallest? What is number one? The thumb. What is number two? The pointer. What is number three? The middle finger. What is number four? The ring finger. What is number five? The pinky. Yes, they call it the pinky because it's the smallest. You know, it's always the smallest. Can we take it again? I want to make sure that we get it. I want to make sure that we get it. What is number one? The thumb. What is number two? The pointer. What is number three? The middle finger. What is number four? The ring finger. What is number five? The pinky, which is the smallest one. How do you go about it? You take your notes. You write number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Anytime you want to pray, you pray around within that five things. The thumb. What is the thumb? Your thumb is what you use to um, thumb print. Am I right? If they ask you to come and thumb print anywhere, which finger are you using? You use your uh, thumb. Am I right? That is why they call it thumb print. So your finger carry your identity. What is your identity? Your wife, your husband, your children. They are your identity. Your wife, your children, your, your wife, your children. They are your identity. Your children are your identity. So number one, you write my family. 
Somebody say my family. Children and uh, your spouse. You write it. When you write it, number one, my thumb, which is my children and my my children and my my spouse. My children, my marriage, my spouse, which is your identity, which is number one. Your children, what are the need? What are the issues in the life of your children? If you have five children, don't just say my children. You name them one by one. Number one, John. Number two, Deborah. Number three, Clement. Number four, uh, Johnson. Number five, Elijah. In front of number one, Deborah, what are the issues? What are the needs? What are the things, expected things in the life of Deborah? You state it there. Number two, who is number two? John. What are the problems? What are the challenges in the life of John? What are the things you want God to do in the life of John? You write it there. Number three, if you have five children, you write them one by one. If you, have, if you have one child, you write it. If you have ten children, God help you. You write ten children. All the need, all the issue. If they are married, you write the name of their wife there. With that one alone, self, one hour you are still praying. Am I right? Praise it the Lord. Then, in that place, you see, you have what? Your marriage, your husband, your wife. It's your thumb, it's your identity. You write it. What are the things you are believing God for, for your husband, for your wife? You write it there. Praise the Lord. So when you come to the place of prayer, the first thing you pray about is not you. When you pray about you, when you come to the place of prayer, you pray only about you. That is when you pray five minutes, you are gone. So when you come to the place of prayer, the first thing you pray about is you pray for your children and you pray for your spouse. Oh Lord, help my husband. Oh Lord, help my wife. My wife will not run into hero. Help our business. If there's any health issue, whatever is going on in the east or alive, you pray intercession. Praise the Lord. Somebody say number two. We understand our thumb now. That is number one. Then number two. Number two. Number two. Number two is the pointer. Number two, who, who is what who is the pointer? Number two, there who is the pointer is your authority. The authority over you. The authority over you. Who is the authority over you? Your parent, your leader, your boss. Should I take it again? Your the authority over you is what? Is your leader? Your leader at work. Your boss. Your parent. If you see a parent, you come to the place of prayer. Take intercession for your parent. Then you take intercession for your leader, your boss, the government official, the president of your nation. Lord, help our president, the president of Nigeria, to do the right thing, to take the right decision. If you don't pray for him, he will mess up and you'll be the one to suffer the, the consequence. Praise the Lord. Right now in Nigeria, we curse our leader, we curse our president, many of us, which I don't do. But you know that when they make error, it bounces back on us, the citizen. If they have first scarcity, those leaders, they don't know that there is first scarcity. It is the citizen. They don't go to market, they don't buy fuel. Where the citizen pay the price? Right now, things are times three, times four, times five in the markets. They don't buy. They don't pay for them. And we pay them. You pay them, the thing you buy in the market, they don't buy. <laughs> and you are paying it. You are paying times ten. Transport fare now is times three, times four. You have no choice. They don't know. They don't pay it. So you need to pray for them. Praise the Lord. You pray for your leader. That boss at work, at office, pray for him. Not that you should be cursing him. Pray for him. Oh Lord, take over his life. Holy Spirit, guide my leader. Guide my boss. Guide my madam. Guide my leader. Praise the Lord. Number three. Okay. That is number one. We are talking about thumb. We are talking about two, which is your the leader. Then number three, you pray for your what is number three? Number three is the pointer. Am I right? The pointer is the longest one. I've talked about number one, the children and the marriage. I've talked about number two, which is okay, the pointer. Sorry, the pointer is the parent and the authority. Then number three, the middle finger. The middle finger is the longest. Am I right? Am I right? The middle finger is the longest. You need to pray for that one. And what is that one? Your business, your finance. Your business, your finance. Your business, your finance. You need to pray for your business. Take intercession for your business. Mention the name of your organization. Mention your business. Lord, help my business. My business will not collapse. During the Fiji, I share something and it looked like uh, 
that this boy is, uh, is funny. It's not funny. I'm a pastor. This is what I do for a living. This is what I do for a living. And my reward comes from those that will bring in tithe and offering. So when there's an attack on the business of those that pay tithe, it's going to affect my ministry. So when I come to the place of prayer, I pray for those who are paying tithe every blessed day. Lord, let me open their business. Their business must not collapse. When I'm praying for them, indirectly, I'm praying for this ministry. As many that are supporting this ministry, when I'm praying for them, you think I'm praying for you. I'm not praying for you. I'm praying for this ministry. When it is well with your business, it is well with the finance of this ministry. <laughs> One of my sisters, he said, he said, thief, your mouth is wide. Ha! I spend money every blessed day. When I'm running it alone without helpers, I know the weight. So now that God is bringing people to support me and they are carrying the body, you think I will not pray for them? Ah, I pray for them. I pray for them. Uh, during last month, a brother sent a message, Pastor, I don't understand uh, my business now. Please pray for my business. This and this. And. Ah, before I reply him, it took me like three hours. But the moment I read it, I go on my knee. It's not about the amount. It's tight. He paid the tithe to this ministry. It's not about the amount. But as long as the tithe comes to this ministry, I go on my knee immediately. Lord, he paid tithe to this ministry. And I'm using the tithe to, to, to promote your work, to announce your work, to evangelize your work. Lord, the, that business must not suffer casualty. Help me, oh Lord. Help pray negos network. <laughs> Intervene in his business. Do so uh, and pray for my business now. This is my business, praying the good strength to This is what I do for a living. So when you are praying for it, you have to pray for those things that surround it. Your customer. If you are a business owner, those people that are working with you, you have to pray for them. That they must not enter into error and mistake. That it must be well with them. If it's not well with them, they will come to your office and they will commit blunder, they will commit mistake. And that mistake can affect your business. For example, a school, a school, a staff in a school committed an atrocity. Just a staff in a school. Because that atrocity was committed within the school premises, the school was shut down, the school was closed by the government. Just a staff. So you need to pray for those who surround you, those who work in your organization, that may God help them. May they not run into mistake and error. May he will not be for them. May he be well with them. So do you see why I pray for those people who are outsiders, who are members of this ministry now? Praise the Lord. That is the, that is the middle finger. Praise the Lord. Then the ring, the ring finger. What is the ring? Your husband, your wife. They are, you not know, talk, pray specifically for your husband or for your wife. If it's well with your husband, it is well with you. If it's not well with him, it is not well with you. No matter how holy you are, if your husband, if it is not well with your husband spiritually, your husband will cause you a headache. If you are a prayer person, you are a prayer uh, vital also. If you are a prayer giant, and your husband drink and smoke and do all manners of things, your husband will be giving you a headache. Your husband will be giving you a headache. <laughs> I remember my wife in those days. One day he tell me, you are giving me a headache. <laughs> Say yes, I will give you a dick. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Say you are just giving me a dick. Yes, I'll give you a dick. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No matter how spiritual you are, if you don't pray for your husband, your husband will be giving you a dick. And if you are a man, if you don't intercede for your wife, your wife will be giving you a dick. You'll be carrying it up. Your wife will be bringing it down. There are some things as a priest, you are the priest of the house. So as a Christian, there are some things you must not do. There are some things that must not come around you. Your wife will go and bring it. And that will cause problem. That will cause setback. So you need to pray for your spouse. And last but not the least, number five. Now, the smallest one. What is number five? What is number five? So, out of all these things, what have you not prayed for? You have not prayed about yourself. So now you now take prayer for yourself. Your need, your want, your hurts, you now take personal prayer for yourself. My wife, my wife is like, say, Kai, this boy, you finish us. 
if you go by this five fingers rule, one hour you are still praying. Look at number one alone. Number one, your thumb. Talk about your children. You have two children. One is in the school, one has married. The one that married, the wife, the children. There must, no, more, there must not be a problem there. You need to pray. Who are the people online? Let me see if I have any grammar online. All our grammars online, please, can you make a comment? Let me see you. All the grammars online. Mrs. Kira, God bless you, man. Those grammars online. I know Mrs. Um, please, can you all make a comment? I want to see all the grammars in the house. I know Miss Fashola from um, Oyo State will be online. I want to see one of my grandmas on, uh, uh, in the house that is always online. I want to mention her name and use her as point of contact. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I know uh, Mami um, Olabi Grace will be online right now. I know Mami Olabi Grace will be online. I know um, what, what's our grandma's name? I know uh, Mami Ebuwa will be online. I know who else, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else. Yes, I know Mrs. Ade Ade Nira will be online. Mommy, Mommy Ade Nira, well, you need to take intercession, number one. You take intercession for my brother, his wife, his children, his work. Then you now move to number two, my sister, that is after the nation. You take prayer for her, for her marriage, for her work, for her health. You already spent more than, more than 15 minutes. In just one, in just two people. Praise the Lord. So before you round up number one, if you are not careful, you spend one hour. You spend one hour. Praise the Lord. But for me, for me, the way I suit my own is this. Number one, praise. Number one, praise. Number two, thanksgiving. Number three, intercession. Number four, confession. Number five, petition. Number one, praise. I praise God. Number two, thanksgiving. Number three, you see all this one to five that I explained to us. I bring everything under intercession, under number five, number three, which is the pointer. Then number four, I take confession. Those people that I intercede for around me, environment, whatever sin that will hinder those prayer, I take confession. I repent on their behalf. Then number five, I now bring my own personal prayer, my own personal prayer under my petition, my family, my wife, my children. The ministry will now come in. Praise the Lord. You can suit it the way you want. Five fingers principle. That is how to pray and have a lasting prayer time. Praise the Lord. Um, also, another way for you to pray longer time is you pray on objects. That's another way. You take objects, um, uh, maybe the picture of your wife, the picture of your children, a document, you lift them up and you begin to declare and declare. Oh Lord my God, this is my passport. Lord, grant me visa. Grant me favor. 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 You take a scripture. You pray on object. You pray on object. Praise the Lord. How you pray, you will pray what I call prayer walk. As you are praying, you don't stay in one place. You begin to pray around your house from room to room. I do that a lot and it helped me. You have to be careful, especially all the women in the house. When you do that, many of you will turn into cleaning system as you, are, as you are doing it. Oh, these children, you are praying, though. You see where they drop their clothes. They are, they are not supposed to drop it out. You carry the clothes and go and put it back. Eh, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm. You are praying. Continue your prayer. So as you are praying, you begin to pray around. You enter your children's room. You anoint them. You know they will be sleeping. Many times we pray at night. So you, be, you anoint them. You lay hand on them. You go to your kitchen. You prophesy. This is my kitchen. I reject for you see them. Uh, we shall not lack good food to eat. You pray into the store. You go to your bedroom. You pray in your bedroom. You lay hand on your pillow. My pillow. As I put head on you, I reject negative dream. When you, as you are coming out, you enter into your toilet. You enter into your bedroom. In the name of Jesus. Anytime I enter into this place, I will not sleep. I will not fall prayer walk. You pray and walk around. As you pray and walk around, you, will not, you, you cannot merge it with the first one. What is the first one? Pray on object. As you are praying around, as you are praying, walk and you are walking around, you lay hand on the door, you pray for on your door in the name of Jesus. At this entrance of my house, if you will not enter, I close this door by the blood of Jesus. I reject evil in this house. I hope put this door spiritually for good things. You walk around. You see the picture of your children, the picture of your husband. You point to them. You pray on them. 
praise the Lord. When you enter your children's room, either they are there or they are not there, you lay hand on their pro on their clothes, on their shoe. Praise the Lord. By the time you do this, two hours, three hours, you are still praying. But when you stay in one place, oh Lord, my God, I've come to you before today. Help me, oh Lord. Help me, oh Lord. My business must succeed. My business must prosper. What you promised to do for me, Lord, do it, oh Lord. Lord, do it, oh Lord. Help me, oh Lord. Answer my prayer in Jesus' name. Put that into prayer. But when you go through this system, two hours, three hours, amen. This is what we do that make it look as if we pray longer. There's no secret behind it. You just need to know the techniques. And when you apply the principle, when you apply the techniques, you will see the result in the name of Jesus. I was with a family about three years ago, and the woman complained about this. I just brought my phone and I sent the picture I sent to our uh, to our channel. I sent it to her. I said, open your phone, she open it. And I explained like this within five minutes. I said, so I'm going to give you five minutes. Bring out a note. The wife brought a note. The husband brought a note. I said, you are right. And they wrote some things down. I said, okay, husband, go and stay there. Wife, go and stay there. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to pray. After like 30 minutes, I was tired. So I have to summon them. And the husband was telling me, I'm going to my house. You people complain that five minutes, you cannot pray more than five minutes. I gave you just test it. Just let's see. After 30 minutes, I said, no. We are, you are not even praying. I just asked you to practicalize it. And the husband was saying, ah, this people did not want me to go to my house. I'm going to my house. Stop the prayer. You can continue after I left. <laughs> Amen. And the man said, Pastor, I don't know that. It's as simple as this. It is. You have learned something this morning. Raise up your hand. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. So please, uh, why did I explain this? I want every one of us in these three days, personal retreat, that I want you to go. I want you to do it. And uh, I want you to do it judiciously. Amen. And that will be result in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Can we lift up our hand and appreciate our Lord our God for this month, the month of October? Let's bless his holy name. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. Who is going to... Mrs. Uh, Kira, which of this system are you going to use? The five fingers principle, walking around, or prayer, or an object. Which one? I can see you online there. Which one are you going to use? Please see that, Lord. Let me see if there is. I can see comment from another person. Please, you are, Mr. David Kibel, which of these principles are you going to use? The five fingers principle, walking around, prayer, uh, walk, or praying of an object. Can you make comment that? Who else is online? Please, you are online. Please make comment. Let me know that you are there. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You know, we are here to learn. And when we learn it, we go and put it into practice. We go and put it into use. Praise the Lord. Oh, Sister Japheth Esther, which, which one are you going to make use of? If you are there on Facebook, can you make comments? I just have three minutes more. Which one, which of these principles are you going to make use of? Sister Tafet Esther, I've talked about the five fingers principle. I've talked about prayer work and I've talked about praying on an uh, object. Then let, there's another one here. Prayer on list. Prayer on issue. On issue. You make a list of issues around you. When you list them, list them out. Then we begin to take them one after the other. You look for scripture and you begin to pray about them. So which one? Which one are you going to make use of? Praise the Lord. I'm waiting. I want you to make comments so that we know the one you are going to use. I have one minute more. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we wait upon the Lord God in these three days, that shall be resolved, that shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus, as every one of us wait upon the Lord God in these three days, I pray for you, sir, I pray for you, man, that shall be resolved, that shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. That shall be resolved, that shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. That shall be resolved, that shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. That shall be resolved, that shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. That shall be resolved, that shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. 
There shall be results. There shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. There shall be results. There shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. There shall be results. There shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. There shall be results. There shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. Let's lift up a hand and appreciate God for this hour, for this month. Let's bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. The first prayer we are going to pray in today's month, today being the very first day of this month, Psalm 37, verse 23. Psalm 37, verse 23. Psalm 37, verse 23. Psalm 37, verse 23. Are you there? Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 37, verse 23. Psalm 37, verse 23. I want everyone to open their Bible to that place. Psalm 37, 23. Psalm 37, 23. What do we have there? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So can you lift up your hands? Say, oh Lord my God, say this 10th month, say this month of October, so Lord my God, Order my step, delight in all my way, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, say, oh Lord my God. I can't hear you, say, oh Lord my God. Say this month of October, say, order my step, delight in my way, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my God, order my steps, delight in my ways, in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? Say, oh Lord my God, order my steps, in the name of Jesus. Delight in my ways this month of October. So, Lord my God, order my steps. Delight in my ways in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord my God, order my steps. Delight in my ways in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, in this tenth month, order my steps. Delight in my ways in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for yourself. Ask the Lord God to order your steps. Let the Lord God delight in your ways in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are going to take throughout this month of October, ask the Lord God to order your steps in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord God to order your steps. Let God delight in your ways. Let God order your steps. So, Lord my God, order my steps. Delight in my ways in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord my God, order my steps. Delight in my ways in the name of Jesus. This month of October, my Lord, my God, I decree, I declare, order my steps, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, delight in my way. Order my steps. Delight in my way. In the name of Jesus, pray for yourself. Let the Lord God order your steps. So, Lord my God, order my steps. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my ways. In the name of Jesus, order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my ways. In the name of Jesus, order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my ways. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer for yourself. Ask the Lord God to order your steps. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord God to delight your ways. So, Lord, order my steps. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my ways. According to Psalm 37, verse 23. Lord, throughout this month and beyond, order my steps. 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 Decree and declare. Let the Lord God order yourselves. Let God delight in your ways. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, order my steps. Delight in my ways. In the name of Jesus. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my ways throughout this month. Order my steps. My Lord, my God, order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way. In the name of Jesus. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way, order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way, order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way, decree and declare. Let the Lord God order your steps in the name of Jesus throughout this month, this month of October. According to Psalm 37, verse 23, let the Lord God order your steps. Let God order your steps. Let God order your steps in the name of Jesus. When God orders your steps, you can never, never find yourself in error or mistake. Accident will be far from you. Anything that represents shame and reproach will be far away from you. So, Lord my God, order my steps. 
in the name of Jesus. Order my steps in the name of Jesus. Order my steps in the name of Jesus. Delight in my way. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way. Order my steps, O Lord. Delight in my way. In the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let the Lord order your steps. Let him 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 order your steps. Let the Lord order your steps. In Jesus' name we are praying. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach you the way you should go. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. And I will guide you with my eye. So, Lord my God, say throughout this month and beyond. So, Lord my God, guide me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, guide my way, guide my steps in the name of Jesus. Can you pray for yourself? According to Psalm 32, verse 8, ask the Lord God to guide you, ask the Lord God to lead you in all your ways, in everything that concerns you. So, Lord my God, guide me, O Lord. 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 As the Lord God to guide you. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord God to guide you. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord God to lead you in all your ways. So, Lord my God, guide me, O Lord. Lead me in my ways. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me in my ways. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me in all my ways. In the name of Jesus. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me in all my ways. In the name of Jesus. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord, in all my ways. As I Lord to guide you. As I Lord to lead you. In all your ways. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord, in all my ways. In the name of Jesus. In all my ways. In the name of Jesus. In all my ways. In the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let the Lord God guide you. Let him lead you in all your ways. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord, in all my ways. In the name of Jesus. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord, in all my ways. In the name of Jesus. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord. In all my ways, in the name of Jesus. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord. In all my ways, in the name of Jesus. Guide me, O Lord. Lead me, O Lord. In all my ways, decree and declare unto yourself. Let the Lord God guide you and lead you in all your ways. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The next one, Psalm 34, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5. They looked unto him, and they were lightened. Their faces, was, were, their faces were not ashamed. As we look unto God this month, the Lord will lighten us in the name of Jesus. We shall not be ashamed. I can't hear your amen. I said we shall not be ashamed. Psalm 34, verse 5. As we look unto him, we were enlightened, we were lightened. And our faces were not ashamed. Say throughout this month and beyond, she shall not be put to shame concerning my life, concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my career. Say in the name of Jesus, I shall not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, say I will not be put to shame. I can't hear you. Say I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, can you decree and declare to yourself? Say in the name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. 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 Can you declare and declare it? Say in the name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. My life, my marriage, my business, my career, I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, can you pray that prayer for yourself? Say in the name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, my life, my marriage, my business, my career, I will not be put to shame. Can you pray that prayer for yourself? As they look unto him, Psalm 34, verse 5, they were lighting and their faces were not ashamed. 
Say as I look unto God this month. Say as I look unto God throughout this month. I will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray for yourself? You will not be put to shame. Maritally, you will not be put to shame. Financially, you will not be put to shame. Concerning your children, concerning your husband, concerning your career, everything that concerns you, you will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. You will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. You will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. You will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare it? Say, I will not be put to shame. Throughout this month of October and beyond, I will not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are seeing that Psalm 34. Let's go to verse 10. Verse 10. Psalm 34, verse 10. The young lions do lag and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. But they that seek the Lord shall not do what? That means you and I will not lack any good thing. Say in the name of Jesus. Say this month, I will not lack any good thing. Say this month, I will not lack any good thing. In my life, in my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my career, say I will not lack good things. In the name of Jesus. Now we begin to call that forth. Say I call for good things. Testimony, help, resources, opportunity, favor. Say this month, I call them forth. I call for good things into my life, into my marriage, into my business, into my career, in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare it? Call for good things to your life. Say, I call for good things into my life, into my marriage. I call for opportunity. I call for blessing. I call for favor. I call for help from the four corners of the world into my life, into my marriage, into my ministry, into my career, in the name of Jesus. From the four corners of the world, can you begin to call for good things? Say, I call them forth. Opportunity, favor, lifting, promotion. Say, I call them forth. In the name of Jesus, I call them forth. 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 Begin to call them forth. In the name of Jesus, call forth opportunity. Call forth favor. Call for lifting into your life, into your marriage, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Verse 19. We are seeing Psalm 34. Verse 19. Verse 19. Verse 19. Psalm 34, verse 19. Psalm 34, verse 19. Psalm 34, verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him. Say throughout this month, say afflictions shall be far away from me in the name of Jesus. Say the Lord will deliver me and my family from affliction from crisis, from problem, in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, say throughout this month, say the Lord will deliver me from affliction, from crisis, from problem, in the name of Jesus. So Lord my God, say throughout this month, the Lord will deliver me from affliction, in the name of Jesus. Say the Lord will deliver me from affliction, in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare it? So Lord my God, the Lord will deliver me from affliction, from crisis, in the name of Jesus. Can you pray for yourself? Say the Lord will deliver me from affliction, from crisis, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver me and my family, my marriage, my business, my career, from affliction, from crisis, Say in the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver me throughout this month from affliction, from crisis, in the name of Jesus. Say throughout this month, the Lord will deliver me from affliction. The Lord will deliver my family, my wife, my husband, my children. The Lord will deliver us from affliction, from crisis. In Jesus' name we are pray. Psalm 36, verse 11. Psalm 36, verse 11. 
Psalm 36, verse 11. He said, Let not the foot of the pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. Can we take it again? Psalm 36, verse 11. Let not the foot of the pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. Say in the name of Jesus, say throughout this month, the foot of the pride will not kick against me, will not kick against my marriage, will not kick against my business and my career in the name of Jesus. You know, when somebody put a bucket full of water on the ground and somebody kick against that bucket, what will happen? All the content will pour away. That is the meaning. When the wicked one, when they pride, when they kick against somebody with a leg, they scatter the life of that person. They injure the life of that person. They scatter that marriage. They scatter that home. Say in the name of Jesus. I can hear you. Say in the name of Jesus. Say throughout this month and beyond. Say the foot of the pride will not kick against me. Say the hand of the wicked will not remove me from place of testimony. In the name of Jesus. Say in my life, in my marriage, in my business, in my career. I reject every activities of the wicked one. Say I reject effect of the, the foot of the wicked one. Say the activities of the pride one. The activities of the hand of the wicked. Say I reject it. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. First Samuel 16:22. First Samuel 16:22. First Samuel 16, 22. First Samuel 16, 22. And so sent to Jesus, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. The king sent for a man and said, Let your son come before me. Let him come and stand before me, for he has found favor. This month, as you go into this month, you will find favor in the name of Jesus. Before your boss, you will find favor in the name of Jesus. Before your helpers of destiny, you will find favor in the name of Jesus. As you go to submit that proposal, the Lord will favor you in the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hand? Say in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. Grant me favor before those that will approve my proposal. Say before those that will support me. Before those that will help me, say, O oh Lord my God, grant me favor in the name of Jesus. Before those that will help me, before those that will help my ministry this very month, say, O oh Lord my God, grant me favor, 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 grant me favor. Ask the Lord God to grant you favor. Before those that will help you, before those that will support you this month, so, Lord my God, grant me favor in the name of Jesus. Grant me favor in the name of Jesus. Grant me favor in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord God to grant you favor in the name of Jesus. Before those that will support you, before those that will help you, so, Lord my God, grant me favor. Grant me favor. In Jesus' name we are praying. The last prayer for this hour. Let's look at verse 13. First Samuel 16, verse 13. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. Then Samuel took the Samuel do what? Samuel took the horns of the oil. I anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Number one, and the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day. Number two, he moved forward. Number three, David arose, Samuel arose up and went to Ramah. Say in the name of Jesus, say, O oh Lord my God, say this month, say anoint me, say anointing of Holy Spirit to stand out, to stand tall, to move forward, to arise, to change of status, to change for change of position, say rest upon me, in the name of Jesus, say this very month, 
Say anointing of Holy Spirit to stand out, to stand tall, to move forward. I can hear you. Say anointing of Holy Spirit to stand out, to stand tall, to arise, to move forward. For anointing of Holy Spirit, for change your status, for change your position. Say rest upon me, rest upon my work, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. In the name of Jesus, can we begin to declare and declare? Say anointing of Holy Spirit to stand out, to stand tall. Anointing of Holy Spirit to arise, to move forward. Anointing of Holy Spirit for change of status. Anointing of Holy Spirit for change of position. Rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Rest upon me in Jesus' name. We are pray. I lift up your hand. As every one of us have declared and declared this month, I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma'am. According to Psalm 37, verse 23, may the Lord God order your step throughout this month and beyond in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 32, verse 8, may the Lord guide all your ways throughout this month in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 34, verse 5, as you look unto the Lord God for your daily need, may you not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. May you not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 34, verse 10, I pray for you that throughout this month, you, your family, your work, your business, you will not lack any good things in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 34, verse 19, I pray for you that throughout this month, affliction shall be far away from you in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 36, verse 11, this month, the foot of the pride will not kick against you in the name of Jesus. The hand of the wicked will not remove you in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Samuel 16, verse 13, 1 Samuel 16, verse 13, anointing of Holy Spirit for you to stand out, anointing for Holy Spirit for you to stand tall, anointing for Holy Spirit for you to rise, for you to shine, for you to move forward, anointing for Holy Spirit for change your status, for change your position, receive it in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Samuel 16, 22, may the Lord God grant you favor before your epas of destiny in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. And jointly we pray according to Ezra 2, 68 to 70. Ezra chapter 2, 68 to 70. The book of Ezra. Ezra chapter 2, 68 to 70. Ezra chapter 2, 68 to 70. Ezra chapter 2, 68 to 70. And some are received of the fathers when they came to the house of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem, offer freely for the house of God to set it up in its place. They gave after their ability, after their ability, after their ability. The Bible said they gave after their own ability, after their own ability, after their own ability. They gave after their own ability. I join my faith with the faith of every one of you. We pray for Pray New Goods Network that throughout this month there shall be release of resources in the name of Jesus. There shall be release of free will offering in the name of Jesus. There shall be release of resources in the name of Jesus to build, to do the work of God freely in the name of Jesus. This week, this month, we decree, we declare all that is needed, all that is demanded for all to meet, to do the work of God. The Lord will provide them in the name of Jesus. Throughout this month, pray in good network. We shall lack no good things in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord bless each and every one of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Happy new month and happy Sunday. This week, the Lord will favor you. As you go into this week, the hand of the Almighty God rests upon you. You will have testimony. You will give testimony to the glory of God. Please, sir, please, ma, let us not forget our personal retreat tonight, tomorrow night, and next tomorrow night. On the first, on the second, and on the third. The Lord bless you all. Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother sister and friend you and i will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side will you be allowed to enter heaven 
The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.